guys welcome back to my channel so if you haven't noticed i feel like every time i film a video something has changed i did cut my hair and i took out my tape and extensions so my hair is pretty dead i'm trying to be on my shit in 2018 trying to let my hair grow you know so for today's video i am filming my everyday makeup routine this is an updated video i have already an everyday makeup routine video but that was like a little bit over a year ago my products have changed drastically they go from like $200 primers to like $4 bronzer type of thing. <laughs> yeah, definitely stay tuned to see what products I've been loving lately. I will show you some tips and tricks that have been making my makeup look flawless, you guys. If you want to find out, definitely keep on watching and do not forget to subscribe. Now, you're probably wondering, Daisy, why are you still on the floor and why don't you have furniture yet? And that is because, okay, I ordered my furniture first of all, so it's coming next week. But I haven't built some Ikea stuff, you know, I can't forget this out so bad. And I also want to collab with Mr. Kate so they can come and decorate my place so I don't want to like go all out and buy things just yet, just so I can get their input. So that is some content that is coming up that I'm really excited about. But anyways, I already started off with my eyebrows. I used the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil in the shade number five i love this this is my go-to brow pencil you guys know i love brow pencils in general i just love the formula of this one it's really like waxy and it doesn't come off usually when i use eyebrow pencils it tends to like rub off or like fade away by like the end of the night so up next is my sicily paris primer you guys i can't keep my hands off this primer i swear to god like i try so hard to try new primers and i just keep coming back to this one it's just so good like i just can't stop using it on top of the sicily primer i like to go in with my YSL primer and since this one is a blurring primer I tend to focus this where I have like open pores I'm starting to get pores right here which is really weird um and I know that's from the laser hair removal that I had so I like to apply some there and then I apply some under the eye area just so the under eye area can be really smooth and doesn't look like I have wrinkles I like to add it around my mouth and then whatever i have left i just put that on my forehead just so my forehead can look really smooth i feel like my forehead is the most irrelevant part of my face so now we're going to move on to the foundation i have been loving loving this combo i used to just apply this as a cream and then i would go on top of this but when you mix them together oh my god it is like a holy trinity i'm not gonna lie at first i did not like the estee lauder foundation it was really dry on my skin and i just didn't like the way it sat on my face when i mix it with the stroke cream it makes my skin look so luminous and dewy and just nice not to mention this is a little bit dark so it kind of lightens it up for me a little bit and like the consistency of the foundation changes as well it becomes like really light and fluffy and it just makes my skin like really airbrushed i just i love it my guilty pleasure is watching nikki tutorials buff in her foundation i just love when her skin is like a blank canvas i'm like wow a look and I like to layer this foundation. What I really like about this foundation is that it's really thin. So when you add a layer on top, it doesn't like mix in together, kind of just sits on top of each other. So it looks really photoshopped and nice. Just love it. Oh, by the way, I'm setting my eyebrows with the 24 hour brow setter by Benefit. This stuff is amazing. Okay, moving on to concealer. I'm using the light medium concealer by Tarte, of course. This is legit like the same exact color as my foundation. <laughs> Grab some of the ColourPop and I just apply that in the corners right here. So I'm using the Makeup Revolution Illuminating Spray and I'm spritzing my Beauty Blender. And this honestly makes all the difference. It melts the concealer into my skin so nicely, you guys. It just makes my skin like flawless. I feel like for my updated like everyday makeup routine, I have just been mixing a lot of products together because for my setting powders, I use both the Laura Mercier and the banana powder. The thing with the banana powder is that it can be a little bit too orange, especially if you're really light, especially the banana shade. Um, I still use it, however. Um, this one I only use on my under eye area. Like pretty much where I put the concealer is where I'm gonna use the banana powder and then the Laura Mercier I'm gonna use to like set like the bottom area of my face that way it matches my neck because when I use this on this area it looks like orange and my neck is not orange you guys this powder is just freaking amazing I'm gonna use that to set my chin okay so now going in with that Laura Mercier powder 
Now I'm taking the Makeup Shack T34 brush and I love using this one to dust off all the translucent powder. I'm gonna zoom you guys in. It's just like a clean, smooth camera. Okay, now for bronzer, you guys are gonna be like, bitch, really? Yep, the butter bronzer. The butter bronzer from Sessions Formula that I talked so much shit about. I just, I remember I tried this a long time ago and I just didn't like it on myself. I don't know what it is. I don't know if like they like revamped like the formula or something, but I have been obsessed with this bronzer. It smells freaking amazing and it's super affordable. You can find it at your local CVS. It just makes me look so warm and bronze and nice. I had to get my teapot. This is for Tina and Shelby. Every single day that we woke up, we would Postmate teapot in the morning to get our day started, or we would go and get it. It's just so good. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the banana powder. And the reason why I love going in with the banana powder under my contour is because this one actually stays, if you get what I mean. Like when I use the Laura Mercier to bake and I dust it off, like you can't even see like the line. With this one, I don't know what's up with it, but like even when I dust it off, you can still see the line. Also, another trick I've been doing is use smile. And you see right here your cheekbones? Curve it in with the cheekbones. Like that, and it's gonna make them stand out way more. Um, back then I would just do a line and that was it, but doing this little trick makes a huge difference. Now for blush, you guys, I have been using the same exact blush for I don't know how long since this collection came out the um mint for you collection by dose of colors the packaging is just me i love this blush it's not like it's a straight up pink but it's not like it's it's not pink <laughs> if that makes sense so i'm gonna smile and i like to do little strokes and then i go in and i start blending it out so now I'm gonna go in with some Fix Plus just to melt that all into my skin. I also want to prep my skin for the highlight because if I'm like, if I apply my highlight on top of just powders without any setting spray, my highlight looks really powdery and gross and I don't like that. So I'm gonna spray some Fix Plus. This is the, I think it's like the rose water one. Yeah, this is the rose water one. It smells so good. So I'm gonna spray this and I'm just using this to fan my face make sure you always fan your face after you spray guys it makes a huge difference because sometimes when you spray it you get like those little like bubbles and when you try to buff it out it looks bad so just make sure you have something to buff out your face with wow so now i'm grabbing the lancome absolute patch powder this is like a highlight translucent powder if that makes sense it's not thick like a highlight it's not too intense but it's still really shiny so let me demonstrate so do you see that it like illuminates the areas you want to like a highlighter but it's not as intense as a highlighter so i like to use this on my chin and on my temples this powder is so thin and silky that it just melts right into the skin especially because we applied that fix plus before so it makes it look like it's coming with thin instead of just sitting on the face i like to apply some under the eyes as well and i started doing this because i let shelby borrow this powder and i saw her using it under her eyes i was like why are you using it under her eyes and i was looking at her under eyes and they just look so nice so you can see it just like makes it a little bit brighter Looks super, super nice. And I look a little bit weird right now because I don't have any eyelashes. So it's perfectly fine. Y'all, my eye still cries when I put eyeliner on. So you're probably like, Daisy, what the hell happened? How the hell is your hair curly and you with the eyelashes on? Um, I had to let my camera charge. So in the meantime, I did my hair for the outro and intro. And then I just put on the lashes. The lashes I used were Mika Nose by Lily Lashes. I also have a coupon code for that. You guys, I don't know how to feel about the short hair, I guess it's just the way that I, probably I curled it. I feel like Lord Farquaad right now. That's what I feel like. The lip liner I'm using is in the shade Strip Down. I love to add a line right here in the middle to give the appearance of a bigger lip. And then I do an X over here. So now I'm going to put on my signature lip, you guys. 
I use this lip every freaking day of my life. Like this is my go-to, my ride or die. I've been using this for like over a year. This is in the shade Bashful by Girlactic. Their formulas are amazing. Look at that, it just glides on like butter. It's so creamy. Girl, this will not come off. I've tested it every way possible. It does not come off. Okay, I was like, why do I look so dead? It's because I have no highlight on. So now I'm going to spray my face with the Makeup Revolution spray. I'm going to spray a little bit of Fix this on there. Are we ready for the highlights? I don't know why you guys, but I just haven't been feeling like the like super glow anymore. Like I don't like the intense highlight anymore. Who am I? Alright guys, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my everyday makeup routine. Definitely let me know if any of the tips and tricks that I showed you guys in this video worked out for you. I would love to find out. Let me know in the comments down below what videos you want to see next. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye!